I'm making homemade chicken soup for the cats. I have a Trader Joe's organic grill pack. This has two split breasts and four drumsticks. This is their organic chicken. Um, and this costs $2.99 a pound. And this is 3.85 pounds of chicken. The total cost on this was $11.51. Um, so the first thing I am going to do with this is I am going to rinse off all of this chicken and then put it in a soup pot and fill the soup pot with water. Here's the chicken in the pot. Now you could use a whole chicken uh, if you want. You could also just use drumsticks or just use wings or just use thighs. The reason I chose this grill pack is because most of the organic chicken was already sold out. Normally I'll get like a whole chicken. They only had like two whole chickens left and I always look for the freshest sell-by date. So this one uh, had a sell-by date that was like the farthest in the future and the other chicken, uh, the sell-by date was much more recent which means it's just been sitting on the shelves longer. So that's why I bought the grill pack. But you could do this with a whole chicken or you could do this with just thighs or just drumsticks or anything. So now I'm gonna get some filtered water and um, put that in the pot. I added five quarts of filtered water to the soup pot and I am now going to bring this to a boil. And once it starts heating up, the next thing I'm going to do is start skimming all of the, uh, like this scum that comes up to the surface. So the soup is just coming up to a boil and see all of that stuff floating on top. That's all the scum that needs to be skimmed off. So that's what I'm going to do now. Then I am going to reduce the heat to probably around medium low and this will simmer for let's say about 45 minutes. The soup has been simmering for at least 30 minutes now. So because I'm making this for the cats, I'm really not gonna put much into it. I've decided I'm only going to add like one carrot and one stalk of celery to give it a little bit of flavor and a little bit of extra nutritional value. I added one carrot and one piece of celery and I am going to continue to cook this for probably another 45 minutes or an hour. The soup has been simmering on low for a while, and um, I think the total cooking time has been about two hours right now, and I just tasted the soup, and it is so good. Like, even without any added herbs or anything like that. A lot of times I like to add fresh rosemary or fresh parsley. Um, it gives it an incredible flavor, but for the cats, I'm not adding that. I'm keeping it very simple. And uh, even without anything, it tastes really good. So I am going to shut the heat off and let this cool down. And then I'll put it in some jars in the refrigerator. I might freeze some also. And that way the cats will have some this week and they could have it in the future. And um, what I do is I freeze it in mason jars. But when you freeze it in mason jars, you have to make sure that it is the mason jars with um, the straight sides to it so it's usually the wide mouth mason jars um, because if you uh, use the mason jars that have like the curved uh, edges like the curved neck then when it freezes it'll actually uh, crack the jar but if it's the straight sided jars then it freezes without any problems so i just turn this off i'm going to put the lid back on and i'm going to let it cool the other thing i'll do later is i'll take the chicken out and then I could um, take all the chicken off the bone and uh, set that aside. I could give it to uh, the inside cats. They don't, they're not really fans of it. Um, I could give it to the outside cats also. Let me show you what the frozen chicken broth looks like. These are the mason jars that I use. Uh, these are one pint jars. They're wide mouth and they have straight sides. And I fill them up to about where my thumb is. Uh, I leave about an inch of uh, headroom because when it freezes, it will expand. And so, yeah, so I have several of these in the freezer now, um, and there's several in the refrigerator. And so, this is great. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.